kickoff was delayed for 10 minutes to allow the crowd in at time and how ironic was it for Falkirk to play in the emerging shadow of the new stand that will allow Livy into the Premier League. Rockville will be sold in the next few weeks but the players can only concentrate on the job and finish as high as they can. Gareth Hutchison with the first chance. Livy were hoping for a performance that would bring back the newcomers in the larger than normal crowd and they almost gave them something to cheer after a period of sustained pressure. Both these sides knew the importance of a win with the top two playing at Paisley and Brian McPhee came close to heading the opener. It just wasn't to be McPhee's day. He was given the chance of the first half. Miles Hogarth shouldn't have had the chance to make a save. Still Livy pressed, using the strong running McPhee as their main weapon. But on this occasion, Hogarth was well positioned. The opening goal was always going to be all important, and it fell to Falkirk. Well, that is, the ball fell to the feet of Davy Nichols. 1 0 the Bairns. Nichols has replaced David Moss as goal scoring midfielder. It's his ninth of the season, but Ian McAlden won't be proud of his part in the goal. Livy really should have taken something from the game and they were given the perfect opportunity to do so. Captain Graham Coughlin joined the attack as the home side went in search of the equaliser. There's no doubt his foot is taken away by Scott McKenzie. The pocket complaints are unheeded. It looks a clear-cut decision for Kevin Toner, the referee. All Mark Miller has to do is finish the job. Well, the job was nearly finished by Scott Cram. A quick break by Falkirk, and their fans thought this one was in. The points head for Brockville, and only two now separate the top three.